This is the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, this is the Steam Link app on the NVIDIA Shield. Uh, after the most recent update, which adds some controller support, some extra controller stuff. Um, I'm using the Shield controller. Um, if you go into the settings and controller settings and you try to test the controller or not. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to be fucked now because I went into the um, I went into this menu. Maybe. No, I'm not. OK, so if you go into test controller, you're fucked and you have to kill the application and reboot it because there's no way to get back out unless you have another input device to do it with. And if you go to setup controller, it tries to automatically set up the controller and it fucks the controller support and you have to clear the data and, uh, you know, restart and put in the codes and everything again. So the new controller setup stuff doesn't exactly work. It is in beta, whatever. Um, the Steam Link, the Steam controller works as well. Uh, from the last, last time I played it didn't work very well, but I haven't tried it yet. So I don't know. I'll give that a shot too, but I'm going to... Do something that I couldn't do with game stream on this thing, which I already tested, and it works okay. It's not perfect, uh, but that was play Call of Duty with minimal input lag, which is not good for, still not good for if you're playing actually competitively and, and seriously, but for someone who's just playing normally. Um, yeah, and all those uh, hotkeys that they showed right just now, those don't work. So, you're kind of out with that. That doesn't work. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to go back into this and try to play. There's a little bit of it, uh, noticeable latency, the slightest bit, but it's not like... It's okay if you're a casual player of the game and not taking it really seriously in any way. And uh, you'll, you'll notice if you're, if you're looking for it, but for the most part, it's okay. But definitely would not recommend, especially would not recommend using a controller with the PC version. That green screen thing happens quite a bit too, um, but it plays. Sometimes it goes to this green screen and unfortunately I can't see what's going on, this, on, on the screen and I have to switch over. with it. There's like an error message on the screen or something. Uh, before the, um, I could not actually um, control the error messages that would pop up if there were any um and i would you know with these controllers and i can only do it on the steam controller but now you can actually like when you kill a game it gives you it normally hands you an error message telling you that it didn't end properly and that uh you need to put go into safe mode and i normally hit no with the controller but before it wouldn't work now it does so so now also, I've noticed a little bit of performance issues. Oh, I should have um, I should have showed the uh, settings I had, and I didn't. Uh, but the menus are perfectly fine. I don't notice any issues with the menus. Um, you could also try playing around with the graphics. Not just the graphics settings here, but the graphics settings, or the uh, streaming settings in the actual application itself. So I'm just going to go into a regular team deathmatch and all that. And everything looks okay. Um, there's no, like, uh, HDR streaming or anything. There is 4K, but, uh, right, I can't, my hand, PC can't really handle 4K, so it doesn't really make any, it really doesn't mean, you know, there's not much of a reason just to, to stream in 4K. Da, da, da. Think of streaming in 1080p because normally if you don't, it will give you black bars and shit or something. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I selected this um, thing. Why is it that I'm spectating? What the fuck? Here we go. Okay, so yeah, like I said, there's a slight bit of delay, but it's nothing like it was on the... Uh... By the way, I suck at this game, so you'll see ridiculous horrible playing sorry uh, especially when I am using a controller and not a mouse and keyboard it's even worse and then there's a little bit of input latency and you got people lagging <laughs> this guy's lagging like da, 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 da. it's kind of hard to aim like that so 
I guess if you fuck your connection up, you 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 have a, an advantage because then you can just stutter across the screen or something. There you go. So I'm able to do something. If I, I have a controller and I can kill somebody, so. And there's no, like, at least as far as I'm aware, there's no way, um, controller assisting in this game. Unlike previous games. I'm blind. Just so that guy, you know, late enough for him to kill me. Okay. Wow, is that guy invincible? Where'd you go, you prick? Okay. Well, I'm dead again, like normal. But I'll definitely say this is way better than game stream as far as performance goes. And the bugs are not as bad. Like, you don't have all this stupid crap where you have to, you know, like, go through a brand new setup every time they update something. Ooh. I see you, prick. Oh, somebody over here. Okay. Let me go over here. There you go. Oh, shit. I'm always reloading. Because I don't ever want to be out of bullets, but that fucks me a lot of times because I end up, uh... Because right. I end up not seeing her. Oh, there you go. He got him. Okay. Righty then. Oh. That's good. Where the fuck are you? Hmm. Go this way. By the time I get there, everybody will be dead, and they're all over that way. Okay. Oh shit. Boom. Fuck for key. Fuck, I went to go try to melee him, but he's too far away, you fucking idiot. Unless I have fucking Gumby arms. Boing. Boom, boom. Hey, hey, hey. Those grenades. Why the... Fuck, I hate that. You accidentally hit the melee button. Before I hit it on purpose. Now I'm hitting it by accident. I got no shot. I suck. There you go. There's something. Oh, shit. Just saw the fucking red dots. Fuck. Mm-hmm. 